Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we're gonna go ahead and look at rotating our platforms using Lean Touch, and it's super simple. And if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we're back in Unity, and we have a ball that bounces, and we have the basis of a platform with a cylinder in the middle. So that gets us part of the way there. Now let's go ahead and take this to the next level. Now, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna be able to rotate this cylinder and I'm gonna do this really easily. So for you, go ahead and go over to Unity and in the Asset Store, if you type in Lean, you'll find Lean Touch. Now there's two versions of Lean Touch. There's Lean Touch and Lean Touch Plus. Lean Touch Plus gives you way more options and things that you can do, but the Lean Touch is free and that's exactly what we're gonna use for this tutorial. Go ahead and add to my assets once you've signed into Unity. Then once you're over in Unity, pull up the Package Manager and in the package manager, if you type in my assets and then type in lean, you'll see that lean touch is there. Go ahead and install it and then you're good to go. Now that that's installed, let's go ahead and implement it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is to go ahead and add a lean touch object to my scene. Now, what does this do for me? This allows me to be able to simulate using touch events within the editor. So I'm gonna click on that. And then if we go over to the Lean Touch game object in our inspector, we need to add simulator. Now there's, in the simulator, there's a couple different options that we can use. So what, for us, what we're gonna be able to use is we want to use the twist option. And we're gonna, that's tied to the left control. Now you can change this to whatever key that you want, but this is just to be able to simulate touch within the editor environment. So we have that implemented. That is all we need to do there. And the next thing we need to do is to be able to twist our platforms. So we're gonna be able to use Lean Touch to do that. So it's super easy. I'm gonna click on my platform prefab and I'm gonna go ahead and add a new component. And the component that I want to add is Lean Twist Rotate Axis. Again, this is part of the Lean Touch free edition. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. We're gonna add that component. And then in the axis, you can see that by default, there's an X zero and a Z zero. That means it's not gonna rotate in those particular directions. But what we want to rotate is in the Y. So the Y axis is up and down. So when we rotate, we wanna rotate around that axis. The number that's in here is the speed at which we're gonna rotate that. So the higher the number, the faster the rotation is on the finger slide. Also, the negative number versus a positive number will move in one direction with the finger slide or negative direction in the finger slide. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it default as negative one, and that way we can have that all set up. And that is it, we, that's all we need to do to make this thing work. Now, for us to be able to see it, I'm gonna go ahead and just take one of these platforms or a couple of them, and I'm going to turn those off now we can see this be able to rotate. So let's go ahead and give this a play real quick. So I'm gonna hold down my left control key and that should allow me to rotate my cylinder. So here my ball is bouncing. I'm gonna hold down my left control key and you can see I've got these little pink dots that pop up but that's just to simulate uh, the finger touch event. So I'm clicking and dragging. So you can see I'm dragging my platform around and then my ball goes all haywire. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Now, the problem with our ball is that it's being able to move all over the place, and we don't want that. We want it to be able to only move in the specific spot in the specific direction that we want it to. Well, this ball has a rigid body attached to it, so a rigid body component. If we go down to our constraints, you can see that you can freeze position. We don't want it to move left and right. We don't want it to move closer or further away from us. So the Z axis and the Y axis, I wanna go ahead and freeze those. And this ball will also rotate even though we're not seeing it because it's a ball. I'm gonna go ahead and just freeze all three of the axes there. So we're only gonna be able to move our ball in the Y axis. So now let's give it a test. So I'm able to rotate and you can see my ball gets through the platform. So that is exactly what we're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and just move my ball out just a little bit so it's not so close to the cylinder. I wanna move it out slightly so I'm gonna go ahead and just let me uncheck my pro grids and I'm gonna move that out a little closer to the edge so it has a little further away to go and then I'm also gonna go ahead and decrease the size of the ball slightly the 0.3 
point three and point three. Yeah, that works exactly the way I want it to. Cool. Now that we have the platform working exactly the way we want to, I'm gonna go ahead and just let me go ahead and just turn these other platforms back on. We've added Lean Touch to our game object, our prefab, but I haven't up actually updated the prefab. So the way I'm gonna do that is click on overrides. And then I'm going to apply all. So now that's going to apply to my prefab that's in my prefabs folder. So we can go ahead and then use this to duplicate down the scheme. And because each of these are two units, if I click my pro grids back on and I just move that down, you can see that we now have a perfectly placed platform. I'm going to just add a couple more of these real quick. So we now have something more like that. Cool, that's exactly what we want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn some of these off, some of these platforms off, just so we have something more to look at. And there we go, so we now have something that's a little more like Helix Jump. Now let's go ahead and give this a test real quick. And there we go, we're able to rotate and then our ball is going to continually move down and that's exactly what we're looking for. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.